grand evening everyone it's Shay seeking and um <clears throat> again uh, i'm sitting here tonight um hmm, yeah it's been a day but um i am in again i'm in the apocrypha um now and um again you know like just very strange things i tell you So, you know, I, I had the feeling of, um, you know, energy again, um, that may feel as though, uh, you know, I, I just have a feeling of, uh, energy that, that feels like, uh, someone is trying to speak that, one would be unworthy because they don't do things um, the way that others do or that they have not followed a certain code. Um, well, I won't say that because that would sound like I'm... Okay. <laughs> Let me see. The way I absorb energy is just a different way. Again, like I don't take anything personal. You know, I, I, I take in energy and information um from m many different sources um and again um i feel like uh the way that i combat that is with the word it's with something that is somewhat uh in a pure hearted way of or just a, a natural way the spirit guides me, leads me to respond to certain things that I feel may be directed. Energy, again, um, not only directed energy by word of mouth or directed energy. Um, today, I was sitting out in my sunroom this evening, just sitting, chilling. And um, I don't know. It was just something very strange. Like, I, I, I pay attention to what's going on in the sky during the day, night, whatnot. You know, um, and I just kept noticing that there was like a, these flickers of light. I, I, I noticed there was a lot of action of, of flying objects in a sense, right? Now, again, I, I know that we have like a center somewhere around here where there are uh, drones that fly, um, especially at night. Um, I haven't seen them in a while, but again, I've wondered. Um, there was also other flying objects that weren't airplanes because again we're somewhat close to an airport but not too close um but these things were moving a lot faster than the planes do um but i also noticed that there was like flickering of lights and booms like like a booming sound and it kind of tripped me out because you know every day nowadays i'm i'm expecting something random to be strange um that occurs um not in that same manner, but just something around me that feels like the the force field that is around me of protection. You know, it it puts me in a zone where I have to direct you know my energy, um, and 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 ask for um, um, protection um, from source, from the ancestors, from you know. Again, I I feel as though I I use all the elements. We'll just say it like that. Even in a simple term of saying, um, well, all the elements are used. Okay. I, I'm not going to say I use them <laughs> um, in a sense. <clears throat> so, um, you know, that kind of just, it, it happened many times. Like um, uh, you can hear the, it was like a boom, like a gunshot and like flickering lights, like flashing over the house. So anyways, I was just thinking about just like how um, I, I started to watch a documentary about um, a couple of different j uh, chapters in the in the biblical text. And it was speaking of a some form of an attack, you know, and again, I think that these are signs and, and wonders or what, whatnot, if you're paying attention or if you're listening. Because some of us, you know, if, even though we're all a ch uh, children or a product of um, uh, creators, okay, in a sense. Um, you know, 
we're all going to, some of us are going to do things a little bit differently. Some of us don't believe at all. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be different ways for these. But I, I feel like if you actually have a sense of knowing and you're connected to, you know, um, source, we'll just use that, um, then you will see these uh, signs and symbols and these particular things going on. It depends on how much you're paying attention or how deep it is. Okay. So again, that's not to say that other people can't achieve things by not believing, but I'm just saying that we can, we, we are able to use the word in, um, to show for what, what we're doing, where other people may be able to show law or, you know, and again, everybody is each one, teach one, everybody is going to have their way. Um, so again, I can kind of feel sometimes when shots are fired, but I feel like in in my in my instance, I feel like the way I look at myself and the way I carry myself, I don't need to respond to every single thing. Again, it's it's almost like a stepping away from a post to address things that are irrelevant, um, in a, a in a way that would not be a certain way. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it's a time for that and sometimes it's not. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll just use the word. So, um, this is the, uh, I've, I've never read this one, I don't think. You know, um, I didn't even realize that it was here. Um, this one is called The Song of the Three Holy Children. Okay. Um, and it says, which followeth in the third chapter of Daniel after this place. Uh, then it says, fell down bound into the midst of burning fiery furnace um that which followeth is not um in hebrew to wit and they walked into or onto these words so again i didn't even realize it said that but again we're going to use these words and however you look at the word as being the words or the thought of the words or you know what i'm saying as as uh things are being formed you know or even some people uh think thoughts you know what I'm saying? So it's just, um, <clears throat> um yeah, <laughs> but again, uh, so it says then Nebuchadnezzar. Okay. Verse 24. So that's what the thing says at the top, um, of the page. And it says, and they walked into the midst of the fire, praising God and blessing the Lord. Then as a, as a, as Arias, okay, stood up and prayed on this manner. And opening his mouth in the midst of the fire said, Blessed art thou, art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers, thy name. And again, on this channel, we look at it for what it is. And what it could be is that whenever we're talking about a God, we can also be talking about a goddess. Again, it's it's just a way that you're going to take this. Because I think that throughout these chapters that certain portions are talking about a God. But I think that there's other portions that talk about a goddess. And I also think that there is certain portions of this text that has two working together as a joined force, in a sense. Or even being able to feel or sense each other's energy or be con connected in some type of way. Okay. So, <clears throat> so, O Lord, God of our fathers, thy name is worthy to be praised and glorified forevermore, for thou art right, righteous in all things that thou hast done to us. Yea, true are all thy works. Thy way is right, and all thy judgments true. And all, <clears throat> excuse me, goodness, and all the things that thou hast brought upon us, and upon the holy city of our fathers. Um, so again, this is this this makes me think almost like certain um, beings or in, uh, energies or entities that would be um, speaking this, and they are saying upon the holy city, because um, I think I'm going to read something else out of this book called the history, the short history of the Hebrews by uh Oatley or Otley. Um and this is what started this whole thing. I don't know. Um yeah it's from 1915. So again this kind of started me off here and I really want to go into there but again I just decided that I wanted to read this here. Um <clears throat> so 
Let's see. Okay. Okay, I am getting a little bit uh, sleepy, so uh, yes, uh, bear with me. But true are all thy works, thy ways are right, and all thy judgment. Oh, what was I saying? Okay, so <laughs> I was saying that I think that this is um, speaking of when it's talking about um, has brought upon us, meaning that group of people, and upon the holy city, okay? Um, again, and I think that this is talking about a particular being um you know even if you can even say um like a, a matriarchal um uh entity to a certain extent okay of our fathers okay so again this is also reminding me of like the tree of life or a life giver energy okay um even jerusalem okay see again another life giving um energy possibly um, thou hast executed true judgment for according to truth and judgment, didst thou bring all these things upon us of our sins. So again, this is making me think about like the children of Adam or um, those who are fallen to a certain extent, possibly. Um, and again, uh, okay. So again, when we're talking about the nakedness in the garden, I feel like, you know, with the two main caricatures. <laughs> <laughs> um, the nakedness, it would be today for us, I feel some form of an exposure or some form of a, something where you would be put on candid camera or, you know what I'm saying? In a sense where whether we're talking telepathically, um, or we're talking about some kind, other kind of way that you will be put on blast in a certain extent, <laughs> to a certain extent. And again, um, to be going through that, but then one day to notice that you were naked, you know? Um, so again, I think that these forms and these storylines, again, the way that I'm seeing them, I see them, I feel like in a sense where, you know, okay, we'll go to that later. Um, cause it, I'm just going back to, uh, Genesis one. And the chaos, um, the chaotic, uh, dark mass and things like that. Because I think that that definitely represents something a little bit more than we actually think. And again, so we'll go into that a little bit um, later. Um, but it's almost even like the judgment that we are having um, on us. I mean, it's judgment time or it was, you know what I'm saying? It's it possibly still going on, but I think this whole thing with this whole dis-ease that happened had something to do with a judgment and also you know um if you look at it over the past couple of years we have been judging what we've been taught we've been you know what i'm saying we, there's a form of that going on um even a form of judgment when it comes to the governing forces and the entertainment industry and you know what i'm saying so certain things that are happening where little gods again would be judging you know, um, and then also then be judged, you know what I'm saying? So, um, one second. Okay. Um, so again, you know, um, I'm just saying like that's just kind of like what I see. If we're talking about looking at this as if we're talking about these days for we have sinned and committed iniquity um, departing from thee, um, in all things we have trespassed and not obeyed thy commandments, nor kept them, neither done as thou hast commanded us, that it might go well with us. Uh, wherefore all that thou hast brought upon us and everything that thou hast. So again, this is reminding me of Israel, um, in a sense, um, that how, uh, thou hast done to us, thou hast done in true judgment, and thou didst deliver us um, unto or into the hands of the lawless enemies, most hateful forsakers of God, and to an unjust king, and the, wor uh, and the worst wicked in all the world. Hmm. <clears throat> I always wonder who, you know what I'm saying, was saying, you know, was it the other way around sometimes, I think. 
or, you know, could it have been that way? You know, these are just things that trigger thought and inspire um, thought in, in my thought process when I'm looking at the word. And now we cannot open our mouths. We are become a shame and reproach to thy servants um, and to them that worship thee. Yet deliver us not up wholly for thy name's sake, neither uh, disannul thou uh, thy covenant and cause not thy mercy to depart from us for thy beloved, beloved Abraham's sake, for thy servant Isaac's sake, and for thy holy Israel's sake. So I'm guessing that again, in a sense, I feel like I, 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 I can sense these energies, right? Um, and I, I'm guessing that these are talking about these particular three holy children. Um, and, and not even in a father, son, Holy Spirit, you know, possibly, you know what I'm saying? So, um, cause I think that like, uh, uh, there's a complex of looking at father and son as um, age or um, or different ways of uh, appearance and things like that. But I think it, it goes deeper than that because I think that these bloodlines and these seeds have been mingled or um, over time. And again, it's OK. We'll just keep it right there. OK. OK. So the ho three holy children would be Abraham, Isaac and um, thy holy uh so again, it is saying thy holy. So it's just saying like your holy, right? Um, Israel. So I guess, I mean, if they're talking to a particular God, it's funny how it separates, um, you know, the Holy Spirit almost as if it's not even um, like it's a spirit, you know, um, in a sense, and that it's separate in a sense, you know, whatever way you want to look at it. Um, well, let, let's see, let's see, let's, let's slow it down. Okay. I want to say holy is what I'm, I'm feeling like is, is separating it. Okay. So it says for thy beloved. Okay. So, okay, hold on. <laughs> Cause these are like terms of endearment, right? So, um, beloved Abraham's sake for thy servant Isaac's sake okay so one is the beloved and one is the servant and for thy holy Israel's sake okay so again these are all belonging to um and it's seeming like it is almost saying since it's saying thy thy and thy that these are of you know um speaking to one uh creator or whatever at this point in time and, and these would be his his creations or his children or whatever. Okay. Um, <clears throat> to whom thou hast spoken and promised that thou wouldest multiply their seed as the stars of heaven and as the sands that lieth upon the sh seashore. <laughs> Sally seashore. I have a seashore. <laughs> okay, y'all. Okay, maybe I'm acting silly because it's late. But, you know, that Sally soul, she, she said, okay, we ain't even going to do it. We'll stop there. <laughs> For we, O oh Lord, are become less than any nation and be kept under this day in all the world because of our sins. Neither is there at this time prince or prophet or leader or burnt offering or sacrifice or obligation. I mean, apologies. Um, oblation. Okay, or incense or uh, place to sacrifice before thee and to find mercy. Nevertheless, in the contrite heart and a humble spirit, let us be accepted. Like as in the burnt offerings of rams and bullocks and like as in 10,000 of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in thy sight this day. And grant that we may wholly go after thee, for they shall not be confounded that put their trust in thee. And now we follow thee with all our hearts. We fear thee and seek thy face. Put us not to shame, but deal with us after thy loving kindness and according to the multitude of thy mercy. Um... 
Deliver us also according to thy marvelous works and to give glory to thy name, O Lord, and let them that do thy servants um, hurt be ashamed and let them be confounded in their power and might. Okay, because again, you know, and it's funny that we're talking about the word here because um, I don't know, I feel like it is a powerful um, thing and I mean, I guess depending on who is uh, in it, you know, who is uh, in the word, who, <clears throat> excuse me, particularly would have that um, type of connection or these particular people in a sense, right? In all their power and might and let their strength be broken and let them... Uh, know that thou art the Lord, the only one, the glorious over all the whole world, and the king's servants that put them in cease not to make the oven hot with rose and pitch toe. Um, so again, this part about cease not to make the oven hot. Hmm. And again, it, it's almost like um. You know fiery almost like uh to to kind of like piss somebody off is what i'm getting here like um like don't get mad don't get angry <laughs> you see like even like against to it's always a question of to address or not you know and i think that some of us are not even to try to be a certain kind of way. Some of us are in positions where you have other works to do. There's something else for you to do. So again, while others may be able to do certain things, it, the, the way that uh, the Father would want you or us to, to uh, act would be in a different light or it's almost like that's not even your place. You know what I'm saying? Like, stay in your lane. I have you over here. Let them do that. This is what you what, what I have set up for you, right? You know, like in a sense. You know, and I think some of us fall sometimes, but again, um, it's okay to recognize and realize. So then that's why I'm reading the word so that, you know, I can take in those, um, you know, repent or change or realize and recognize you know so all right so um that put them in cease not to make the oven hot with rose and pitch toe and small wood um, and again, it's kind of like reminding me of being tested or trials, right? <laughs> or just even, I feel like that has been a thing, like some things that I would normally do even today after feeling some kind of way um, about something, sometimes I can just be like, and I just cut, I mean, I can just cut some shit, I mean, some things off, ap apologies. <laughs> again, you know, cursing is not a sin in my eyes. I, that's just my opinion. So um, with me and just... Being who I am, if I realize something about somebody um, that may betray, um, but again, you know, I have to look at it too as to what part did I play in the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? But to just cut somebody off, just that's it. I just turn away and whatnot. And I'm just saying that that's like with personal relationships over time throughout my life, you know what I'm saying? And I'm learning how to, or, or if someone offends me in some kind of way, I just like, mm you know, and I just will act like they're not even there anymore. And and I'm trying to learn how to just work through that. I don't have to respond to everything, you know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about like in personal, you know, things and matter, matters, right? You know, even when you feel like somebody really did something real messed up and you just, you know what I'm saying, you're handling things a little bit different. <laughs> so I feel like even those, the pitch and toe and small wood are just little things that are just like coming towards you where usually, you know, you want to react a certain kind of way, but you know, um, again, okay. So that the flame streameth forth, um, above the furnace 
40 and 9 cubits and passed through and burned those Chaldeans um, it found about the furnace. But the angel of the Lord came down into the oven together with Azarias um, and his fellows and smote the flame of the fire out of the oven. So again, it's almost like symbolic for something or allegorical for something, you know. Um, yeah. Like instead of uh, fanning the flame, I feel like that energy maybe was just saying, you know what, let it go or don't even get mad or act like that or whatever. And so I don't know. That's just what I feel. <laughs> um, okay. And made the midst of the furnace at hit, as it had been. Um, or even, ooh. Oh, okay. I was thinking of something else. Okay. Have been a moist whistling wind so that the fire torched them not at all, neither hurt nor troubled them. Then the three, as out of one mouth, praised, glorified, and blessed God in the furnace. Wait, hold on. And blessed God in the furnace. What would God be doing in the furnace? Hmm. Well, I mean, unless we're talking about a god or a goddess that's in a hot seat, you know, I don't know. Saying, blessed out there, out there. <laughs> okay, I need to go to bed. <laughs> I have been, I'm telling you, I have been so drained <laughs> lately. You know, I'm trying to really focus, but it's just really have been, you know, I don't know. O Lord God of our fathers, and to be praised and exalted above all forever, and blessed is thy glorious and holy name, and to be praised and exalted above all forever, blessed art thou in the temple of thine holy glory. So again, you know, anytime we're talking about temple, you know, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that we're talking about in uh, made... Um, the ones that are not made with man's hands in a sense, or could you be talking about AI or could you just be talking about alterations or changes of the mind? You know what I'm saying? Again, the temple can, you know, I think in this, in this, we're talking about a mindset or something. We're talking about something that has to do with that. And when I say that we can, y'all can take it as deep as you want to go, you know, your mind's eye, third eye, pine, you know, everybody's going to have a way of how they look at it. I'm just saying is the, the focal point is something that will be a mindset or a way. Uh, mentally or spiritually okay of thine holy glory and to be praised and glorified above all forever blessed art thou be uh, that beholdest the depths okay so it kind of like you know making me think of like the, something that's deep or like you know yeah something that's like deep like dang that's deep or just like even going to the depths of, like the furthest point of or something, you know, um, you know. Okay. And sitteth upon the cherubims. Again. <laughs> okay. And I'm wondering if this has something to do with the cherubims from Genesis that were put in the garden. Or are we just talking about like Cupid or like in a sense like that? Um, and to be praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou on the glorious throne of thy kingdom and to be praised and glorified above all forever. Blessed art thou in the firmament of heaven and above all to be praised and glorified forever. O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Praise and exalt 
um, and exalt him or her again uh, forever or them. You know what I'm saying? Like, even when it says, um, I'll always keep on saying it, Adam, when he made Adam, you know, and um, he made male and female and called them Adam. So again, like even in a sense of everybody has their way of seeing that. And I'm just saying that, you know, um, just what it says. Were they lords? Were they lords of the land or landlords at one point in time? You know what I'm saying? And then what would their children be? So, I don't know. I was, I, 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 I'm, that's really a question I always wondered. Okay. Um, and again, if, if these two are intertwined, but... Again, we're looking at one of one body that will be present in there, but also not realizing that in spirit working with another a spirit. OK, so like even a divine masculine and feminine feminine working together on one accord. <clears throat> 